Hey everybody, welcome back to the van. What a weekend it's been. Uh, I had to go to Calgary on Friday for an appointment with one of my specialists and I got done that just after one o'clock. So I headed west with the van to Banff National Park, to Lake Louise and to Yoho National Park. And it was an amazing weekend. Still a lot of snow on the ground in places. Um, it was pretty cold. It got down, I think it was to minus 10 Celsius which is 14 or 16 Fahrenheit. So it was quite cold, but it was quite enjoyable. Um, there's still, like I said, a lot of snow in a lot of places, so it limited what I could do, um, but it was, it was great to get out. This trip gave me a chance to try a whole bunch of stuff I've wanted to try for a few months now, and uh, I did it all at once. So there's some changes that are coming to the van. I want to explain to you the first change that I've been trying to play with for a long time. And I just didn't have the stuff with me when I went out. So this past trip, I had everything with me. It was a perfect time, perfect temperature. So I gave it a try. So what did I do? Well, usually in the winter time, I hang a moving blanket back here. It's an insulated moving blanket. It's actually, it's actually quite warm for being just a thin blanket. Uh, it's got insulation in the middle of it and then fabric on both sides of it. But I've hung it there for a couple of years thinking that that was doing a lot of difference. Well, on this past trip, it started to get cold in the evening and I thought I'm going to try something different because I didn't have it hung up there already. I decided instead of hanging it up there, I was going to put it between the driving section of the van and what I built out. So I hung it up, I actually attached it to the shelf that's in the Ford Transit, draped it over the sheets, or over the seats, and then tucked it in at the bottom. And I did my best to stop any air from coming in. It wasn't 100%, but it definitely uh, did close things off up there. And then I took a sheet that I had, a pretty warm sheet, and I hung it in the back here. Well, let me tell you my results of that. Hanging the sheet up front, cut down probably it warmed the van up at least half is what it was a lot of the cold a lot of the radiant cold coming in from the front a lot of the noise that I heard or hear when I'm camping like I was parked in this one camping spot where people were driving in and out all night it was a free campsite and the semis would pull in and trucks would pull in and trucks would pull out before I had it up there you could hear the tires crunching the ice and the snow. When I hung it up there, it cut down almost probably 70 to 80% of that noise was gone. So that was great. As far as the cold, I would say that it at least warmed the van up half as much as it was already warmed up. I mean, by putting that insulation in, it stopped cold from being coming back here, from radiating back here. And I would say I probably cut down, if not half of my furnace use, probably pretty darn close to that. As for the blanket that I put at the back here, it cuts down some. I don't get a lot of cold off that. I do feel some of the cold radiating off of that metal that you can see. So I made a few well, decisions in this trip is what I'm going to do later this year before I get into winter next year. And the first thing is, is I'm going to put a rod up front or some way of attaching that blanket a little bit easier than what it was. I found that was just amazing. Now I'll still use that seat that rotates during the day, but at night I will rotate it back and put it in its position for driving. And then I'm going to put that sheet over it. That's going to cut down on a lot of my heating costs and just make this place so much warmer. The other thing I've decided at the back is, and I've been thinking about this for a few years, I don't know if you can see now in the video, but I have it my screen up. My screen encompasses the entire back area and it's up. It's my bug screen for summertime and come fall, I'm going to build walls back there with windows in them. Now between the end of my bed and the door is about four, maybe five inches. So I got lots of room to work with. I'm not going to fill it up completely. I'm going to have, I'm thinking at this time, two windows, but I may just go with one. I'm still going to have an emergency egress out the back because it's actually a very good idea. Um, in this van, the only way to get out is going past all the electrical stuff, including the furnace. So if there's ever a fire or anything like that, you're going into it. Whereas going out the back door, you can just flip the handle, 
and go out the back door if there is ever, is ever an emergency. So I'm going to still keep that so that we can get out that way if that should ever happen. And I'm going to build in the screen into that wall as well as having windows that open and close. Now, the reason I was thinking of one window is because I could always put some type of a slider on it and then keep the side open where the exit door is and just slide it over if I should ever need to get out and go that way. Thoughts, what I've been thinking, see how it works. But I'm definitely deciding I'm gonna close in that. It's also going to help me just with driving noise, that stuff that's back there that's rattling will not rattle. And the final thing, and I think I mentioned this in a previous video, and that is I'm going to vent my furnace underneath the bed. Currently the furnace comes out right down by my feet here. I'm sitting on the edge of the bed and I'm gonna run it behind the bathroom and underneath the bed so that I have a little bit of heat going underneath the bed and I have the heat coming out front just to circulate the heat a little bit more. Other than that, the van performed flawlessly. In fact, I got new tires. I'm gonna talk about that in my next video. Um, everything worked perfectly. It was a beautiful trip. I uh, had a major, beautiful breakfast at one of the spots where I stopped. It was just wonderful. Could have been a little bit warmer, could have been a little bit less snow, but other than that, it was great getting out. So until next time, I'm gonna start planning some builds and some changes for the fall and get ready for my next trip. So have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.